What's going on everybody? So I've got a friend that needs to put a wireless internet card into her computer. Now, could I do this for her? Of course I could. But there's no fun in that for me. It'd be a lot more fun to have her do it. But because she's a friend, I'm not going to just give this to her and let her go off on her own. I'm going to do a little video tutorial, which guess what? Is what we're doing right now. So I've got a video coming out later about how I refurbished this whole PC of hers. And as I was doing Windows and upgrading, I had the thing hardwired the entire time. So when I gave it back to her, I'm all happy and smiley and she can't get it connected to the internet. Didn't realize there's no wireless capability at all with this thing because I had never even tried. I just got called away and don't remember where I was in all this. So whatever my recap was, she has a computer, it doesn't have wireless, I'm going to give this to her so she can install it, but under the assumption that she doesn't know what she's doing, she doesn't, she doesn't know what she's doing, not even a little. I'm doing a little video tutorial to help her install this in my absence. So the very first thing you want to do is unplug the power to your computer. You never want to do anything in here with your power cord connected. Secondly, these can have some residual power, so once you do disconnect everything, press your power button to release any of the residual charge. Next, you want to take off your side panel to show the inside of your computer. If you're wondering which one it is, it's the one that has some air vents on it. I know it has air vents on it because I worked on it. Now, at this point, you're going to be looking at your motherboard, the big green thing against the far wall there. And you're going to be looking for a couple slots on there that look like they would fit that right there. That's where we're going. Try to aim for something near the top. Now first off, I don't want you to bend these, so unscrew them. They're right up here at the top. One. And two. We'll put those back on once we get the card situated. And once you have the card, take a look. You essentially have three points of contact. One, two, and three. All right? One and three are the most important, though. Now take a look inside your computer. We're going to be going for one of these slots here. I had this one down at the bottom originally. So on some computers, these panels open differently. The person who I'm making this video for, you have these plastic tabs that you can undo with your thumb. That's where this part's going to go across the back. This one has a different little mechanism here, which opens up just like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this card you're going to take these points here and you're going to aim for that section right there. And you're going to go straight in. Once it's in, you're going to give it a little push and it's going to lock down. This fin right here is going to support itself on this side right over here. and click. Now that's in. We're going to take this little door here. We're going to lock that back in place. And this card is now solid. Now we're going to take these antennas that we previously unscrewed and we're going to screw those back on. Now mind you, if you hold it too far back, the antenna is just going to spin in place. You have to get the part up closer to the end. Once you have the card properly installed, you can hook up the power again and turn the computer back on. If your Windows operating system is fully updated, and yours is, it should take you straight to the internet access. So go in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, pull up your little network tab there, and connect to your wireless router. The internet should start working just fine. An extra step you can do in addition to that is, if you want to, go to Device Manager, type it in the little bottom field on your screen right over here and look for your network adapters go under there under properties I think it's under properties and upgrade your drivers but on second thought if it is working probably best not to mess with it I mean you know if it ain't broke don't fix it all right that's it for this one tune in to the next episode when she blows up her computer and accidentally sets it on fire and I bring it back to life <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure that probably 85% won't happen. All right, thanks. Bye.